So this is the entrance. I won't go outside because then I can't come back inside. I'm going. This is Aqua Planet, by the way. See, Aqua Planet. There are a lot of rides. I'm just gonna take you on a walkthrough. So these are the dressing rooms and the bathrooms. As soon as you come in, uh, guest services. There's a little store over there, but everything has to be purchased with um, with these with these bands here. You load the you load these uh, Aqua Planet bands with money and. You could utilize that to make purchases and stuff like that. It's cashless. Everything here is cashless. It's all uh, on these little bands. All right. So that'll be our starting point. We have the bubble shop here. We have rent rental counter, and we have you can rent uh, at the guest services. You can get uh, your lockers. I'm not sure how much the lockers are right now. I try to get that information, and I guess post it in the comments. As I, after I do the walkthrough, all right. So here we go. Recycling bins, and I just take you through the map real quick. You have the parking area. You have the Acacia Plaza, the bubble shop. That's where we are. There's a ride. Another ride. You have the food outlet, that's kind of where I just came from. Lots of slides. Slide here. So the requirements are, the weight requirements are 80 pounds. It's 80 or 88 pounds to maximum 200 pounds. So if you fall anywhere outside of that range, uh, you are limited to the amount of the, the rise that you can get on. Also, the height requirement is 48 inches. Um, if you fall outside of all of those requirements, you get a 20% discount because you're not, uh, you can't access all of the rides. You're actually prohibited from most of the rides. And then uh, a lot of the rides are two and three person rides. Two, three, no, two and four is what I've seen so far. So my um, my girlfriend has joined uh, another couple. So now there are three persons. And on a lot of the rides, what you have is um, you have people who are who pretty much join up with groups to make them a complete group. For example, there are three people. So one one of the persons from from the staff will join. And then there'll be four persons, and now they can, now they can ride the four-person rides. So that's what they're doing now. It's good if you if you come with a lot of people, pretty much. So I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try not to talk so much. I'm just gonna show you uh, different rides that they have here. I think there's 33 attractions, so there's 33 rides with 33 activities that you can do. Here's one of them. Uh, this is a two-person raft. So you have to go two persons because you have, you'll have these donuts here. I remember in um, Action Park, for example, now I, I believe it's Mountain Creek, they have a variety of these uh, uh, donuts, is what I call them, floating devices. And you'll have one person once, two persons, and four persons. And they'll also allow you to ride three persons in a in a four-person raft. But here they're very strict about uh, these things. They they won't allow one person to ride on a two-person raft. So if you're only one person, then you cannot ride this ride unless there's a member of the staff willing to ride with you. Then it'll just be two persons. This must be the most awesome job. You just pretty much hang around and wait for people to invite you to go on rides with them and you get paid for it that's that's a pretty sweet gig i must say so uh moving on we're moving to what's over here so i'll just this place is closed being worked on a uh, sign for the comfort room 
sour. See, this was uh, one of the rides. No, this was this was this was a single person ride, but you can't ride it unless you're wearing the proper gear. Females have to be wearing a sports bra. They will not allow you if you're wearing a like a mesh top or you know even if it if it's uh it's something that's suitable for swimming like a bodysuit. They won't allow you to wear that. They, you have to wear a two piece. So that's just the way it is. And males can only come with uh shorts you can't wear a shirt on 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 this ride so here's here's another map it's pretty much the same map just just says you're here in a different spot so moving on this is uh the funnel here and this i believe the lazy the the lazy river goes all around the park obviously just pretty much through the perimeter it's nice and I think every 10 minutes there are waves. So yeah, this is uh, the funnel ride that they that they went on. Hello, sir. And uh, it's four persons at a time. See, four riders at a time. Each each ride will have these um these boards that'll tell you what you can what you can and cannot do. Here are the, they'll also have a scale to make sure that you fit the um that you meet the weight requirements and here they'll have this make sure that you meet the height requirements so moving on to the next one um yeah so now so you'll go up here the the wraps will go up and you'll do a couple turns and then you'll end up here at the funnel and then ultimately you'll end up down Seems like a fun ride, I must say. And then uh, up there, you have another four-person ride, you know? So it's kind of deceiving to say there are 33 activities. I mean, you come here alone, and you're kind of you're kind of shit out of luck, pretty much. No other way to say it. Because um, if you're one person, there are like, I want to say like two or three rides that you can do by yourself. There are a lot of uh, two-person rides, and it seems like there are a lot of uh, four-person rides. So don't come alone. This is not this is not a place that you come by yourself. So this is the first aid station. Ooh, and food, the food court. Everybody's so friendly. So this is the food court. And yeah, we'll just keep walking here. Hello sir. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. So now we'll just keep uh, we'll just keep moving on. <laughs> so this is uh, the wave pool. Pretty wavy. And uh, for see for rides, these this is one of those things where anybody can do it, along with uh, like the flow rider, which is. Uh, and I want to call it in-place surfing, but it's it's a uh, it's it's surfing. You know what I mean, all right? So that's pretty much that. This is a Super Bowl and Sky Shuttle, and the requirements for this one are four riders at a time. There are only quad two only, and the minimum height requirement is oh see. Like here you can see, this is pretty much a general thing. 48 uh, inches tall to ride and 88 pounds to 200 pounds. So I'm sorry about telling you that it was 80 pounds. If the person's 80 pounds, they won't be able to ride. You'll be very disappointed. Uh, Filipinos are very strict about rules. So it's not even worth uh, trying to hassle with them about it. You could save your breath pretty much. Um, I know that from previous experiences, not necessarily this one. I've, I know, I know my limitations. 
Uh, so yeah, just walk around here. See where this will take us. Oh, this will take us nowhere. It'll just take us to these rides. So there's nothing that we can do this way. Uh, we'll just keep walking. girlfriend over here I might have to pause this what happened no more ref wanna try one of the animals the what 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 Okay. Keep going, babe. I'm doing a video. Okay. 